-hmm. I think there needed to be people who came before me to, you know, done it better. You know, people like um, Butcher and M Machata, John Riley, Corte Newland, um, Bernie Denveristo, who have come and done these kind of things and experimented mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. pros and these kind of stories as well. Um, you know, Vanessa Walters, they've, they've allowed me to be able to think in the way that I yeah. think or to think that, you know, um, oh, I can write like this on the page, you know, because when I first started like reading a lot, my thinking about what was possible in literature was very, very narrow, mm. you know, because I, I wasn't really reading a lot of, I wasn't reading any black British fiction, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I wasn't even aware of it or anything like that. And even African American fiction, I had to go and really, really find it. Because mm. um, I was just reading like classics and stuff like that. And then when I started reading people like, you know, Cheno Achebe and Ralph Ellison, James Baldwin and, and people like that, then I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, they, the stories can be a lot broader than what I, what I thought. Yeah. You know, and then I remember reading Robin Travis, a book called Mama Can't Raise No Man. And I was like, okay, so we can actually write like, about the Mandan, we can mm. write about, you know, ends, you can write about North London, write about Tottenham and people, it'll be published. Yeah. People want to read it. Okay, cool. You know, and um, though they, yeah, those people really expanded my horizon. So mm -hmm. it's almost like until they came and did what they did, influenced the publishing industry, influenced my thinking, I would have not been able to, to write yeah. this. Um, not, no, not at all.